India is a land of varied cultures, traditions and festivals. People and communities come together in celebration of festivals throughout the year. Lights Camera Action is proud to present a series on Festivals of India brought to you by Hindus Awake. Mukherjee and on our journey on festivals of India we're talking about Holi today. Holi is one of the be uh, considered the fun festivals of India. Colors, throwing colors on people. Behind the colors what is the whole meaning of Holi? It's actually you've captured two, two things in there. Holi is short for Holika and Holika was the one that tried to harm Prahlad by sitting on the f on the pyre, fire pyre, and trying to burn Prahlad. And obviously she got burned and Prahlad was saved. So someone who is under Narayan's protection cannot be harmed. But the colors, the color festival itself, is for us as humans to realize the riches and the abundance that, that is Narayan, that is God. In Gujarati we say, Ena range rangau. So we take on the colors of God and God has so many beautiful colors and that's why on Holi we splash each other with color and try and bring a little bit of what is Narayan into our life. The magnificence, the beauty, the colors, you know, there are as many colors as you can imagine. Um, we say there are so many primary colors and there are so many secondary and tertiary colors, but colors are Anant, just as, as Lord himself. So we celebrate by putting on and splashing on different colors, we celebrate the richness and beauty that is that is Narayan. Why do you apply a color on another person? Because we say that life without God is meaningless and colorless. And life with God then takes on a whole new color. And that color, once you put that color on of God, and literally you want that color inside you, inside your heart. So once you put those colors on, then you never go back to being colorless. Because life is so rich with God and all, all of its beauty and majesty and magnificence that you never want to go back to a dull, boring life without God. I see your sons joining us here and they're so, uh, you know, they're dressed up in traditional clothes. So have you celebrated Holi? Oh, yes, we have. Do you know the meaning? When Holika, Hiranyakashipu's um, sister, tried to burn Prahlad, but she, it's supposed to be for her um, protection. It's for uh, her protection, not burning someone else. So she's not supposed to burn Prala. She's supposed to protect, but she got burnt because she used it to burn someone else. It's, it's amazing that, you know, they're so young and they, so, they know so much about our uh, festivals. How have you been able to do that? Prayer goes back to Deepak again. Um, he, uh, after my older one was born, he let me stay home and I stayed home for about four or five years. I gave up my career. And I, that's one thing I want to encourage all the mothers, uh, if at all, if they can do, stay home with them. And really, you can do a lot for them. Uh, like Avinash and that they were little, like about two, three years old. I used to sit with them uh, and watch Ramayana, Mahabharat, uh, Vishnu Puran, all these DVDs, that, they're really good. And they have learned a lot from them, that too. And of course, if we had a question, they would come and ask me, or sometimes we will wait for Deepak to come home, and we'll discuss at, in the evening as to what this really meant. And of course, um, he always talks about spiritual uh, meaning of it, and that really helped. Now in this uh, modern times, how do we celebrate Holi and uh, what are the traditions and customs behind it? The biggest tradition is still to go out and spray color, um, get together on a big ground uh, as a community event and everybody go around splashing colors, having a good time, um, you know, buy clothes, buy new clothes and, and, and that's all good. The only thing is, you know, my... My biggest concern is that what you, what is a very meaningful festival it is now becoming, and I'm going to get into trouble for saying this, but it's now becoming more of a Bollywood show rather than a religious show. And, and, and Holi is so meaningful, so significant, and you, you need to have a great time. And that's, you know, you're, you're celebrating the richness of God. But then let's leave God in it. God needs to be somewhere in it and our our devotion needs to be in it. So yes, yeah, celebrate, have a good time, but 
Your your heart should belong to God. We know we know why we celebrate Holi. Um, Hiranyakashipu, which is Prahlad's father, was trying to get him get him killed because he was a Vishnu Bhakt or a Narayan Bhakt, and little Prahlad ov- obviously did not burn in the fire, and Holi did, and so we celebrate. But my my biggest thing is again we should have. We should celebrate Holi, but realize why. Um, we must never forget the lessons learned from Holi. First is that one who is under Narayan's protection can never be harmed because Narayan is a chut. He never fails to protect his devotees. So Prahlad was saved. Second is we must never waver in our belief of Narayan. Third, Narayan should be the kendra, the very center of our life. Here's the most important one. We must find the evil within us, which is symbolized by holy, and burn it so that our devotion, our little fragile child of devotion called Pralad can be safe. Otherwise, the fire of evil is always burning and ready to engulf and consume our little baby of devotion. The evil is within us, and with Narayan's help, we can we can get rid of it. Thank you so much. I hope our viewers enjoyed this uh, episode of Holi. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you.